Is your name Jennifer Lawrence? Yes. Are you 27 years old? Yes. Are you about to take a polygraph exam? Yes. Jennifer Lawrence, age 27, did in fact take a polygraph test, all thanks to Vanity Fair. No, those are not lies. And yes, this will be the best thing you've seen all day. Okay, so maybe the girl can't name five X-Men, but she did admit to wanting to push people into the subway, so at least we know she's telling the truth. We all know and love Jennifer Lawrence for her raw honesty, but Vanity Fair is putting her to the actual test as she gets hooked up to a polygraph test and answer some of the general public's most burning questions. And you guys, if we didn't know already, I feel like I now know this girl is on a whole other spiritual level. Also, I do have to give Jen mad props for being truthful like 98% of the time. So up first was the relationship category where she was grilled on whether or not she's been in love, had her heart broken, or has ever used a dating app. Do any of your friends use dating apps? Yes. Have you ever used a dating app? No. Is it okay to check your significant other's phone or emails? No. But let's get to the good stuff, shall we? Jen was then asked if she knew anyone in the Illuminati or if she herself was in it. And as quick as her responses were, I'm still not sold on the fact that it's not a real thing. Do you know anyone in the Illuminati? No. Are you in the Illuminati? No. Up next came moral dilemmas, and the true J-Law came out when she was asked if a train came speeding down the track headed toward 20 people, would she push one person in front of the train to save those 20? Any decent Samaritan would probably save the 20 people, but it's what Jen admitted after the fact that had us questioning her morals for dear life. <laughs> in fact, every time I'm in the subway, I always think about pushing people on the tracks. I don't do it, I don't get tempted to do it, but it, it crosses my mind. Told you. I'm so happy that that was confirmed with the polygraph that I'm a psychopath. <laughs> so note to self, never wait for a subway train alongside Jennifer Lawrence, as if, I mean, that's ever gonna happen to me. She also answered many other gems, telling us that Kim was in fact not her favorite Kardashian. She couldn't name five other X-Men, although having played Mystique in the X-Men movie, and that she gets fake tans on the reg. Celebs, they're just like us. Jen continued on the truthful train during an appearance with Andy Cohen. When a caller asked another question, we've all been dying to know if she and Brad Pitt are dating. Jen was quick to debunk those rumors, however, she did admit to kinda sorta liking this one, saying, quote, no, I've met him once in like 2013, so it was very random, but I also wasn't like in a huge hurry to debunk it. Yeah, I'd be willing to run with that one for a while too. But right now, you know what to do. I'm turning it over to you all. Share your thoughts on Jen's lie detector test down in the comments. After that, be sure to click right over here to check out her next move that might risk her entire career. Thanks so much for hanging out with me right here on Clever News. I'm your girl, Jocelyn Davis. I'll see you next time.